Something of the 19th century saw the creation of some of the world's most remarkable feats of engineering. These are now celebrated as great wonders of the world, revealing as much about human creativity and the determination of the human spirit as the do of technological endeavor. One of these wonders of the world is the Hoover Dam, located in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the United States of America. With a tour guide, we drove all the way to Hoover Dam, located about 30 miles southeast of Las Vegas, on the border between the states of Arizona and Nevada. Arriving Hoover Dam, there is a security check, after which visitors proceed to the visitor center's theater level, with maps, photos, and other displays to provide an introduction to Hoover Dam. A walk along the sidewalks on top of the dam provides all inspiring views of the dam face, Lake Mead, the Intake Towers, the Colorado River, and other features around the dam site. Hoover Dam was the most expensive engineering project in U.S. history at the time of its construction between 1931 and 1935, costing $49 million U.S. dollars. Adjusted for inflation, it could cost about $1 billion U.S. dollar today or less. A gravity dam. Hoover Dam Foundation rely on gravity to keep the entire structure from falling down. Hoover Dam rises 726 feet and is 1,200 feet wide at its crest. The base of the dam is 660 feet thick, and it took 91.8 billion cubic feet of concrete to create a retaining wall that weighs an estimated 6.6 .6 million tons. Hoover Dam was built for several purposes, including flood control, crop irrigation, and for supply of drinking water. But the primary purpose of the dam, however, is to generate electricity. The power plant began service on September 12, 1936. Today, the Hoover Dam electric generating plant has 17 turbines that can produce about 4 billion kilowatts of electricity per year, enough to serve 1.3 million people. I'm really impressed. America has gone far, very, very far away. They have gone far. But in Nigeria, we can do something better than this. I don't, it's just because our government, and because we have engineers too, that they can do all this. If they can come here, they can do something better than this. You can just imagine the way they use this lake to generate light for the whole Nevada. Coming to Las Vegas, if you don't visit a place like this, I believe you haven't visited Las Vegas. So, and you enjoying yourself? I'm really enjoying myself, pretty enjoying myself, especially this turbine energy uh, uh, structure, you know. If you look at this environment now, the power generation is coming from this dam, which is turbine solution. From here, we took an elevator to the dam power plant, a 70-second elevator ride that took us 530 feet down through the rock wall of Black Canyon to begin a 30 minute guided tour. We exit the elevator into a tunnel drilled in the 1930s for construction and take a short walk to the Penstock viewing platform. The Penstock is a top one of the huge 30-foot diameter pipes that can transport nearly 90,000 gallons of water each second from Lake Mead to the dam's hydroelectric generators. Our tour guide explains more of the complexities of the construction of the dam and how it operates. The version tunnels were 56 feet in diameter, the lying in three feet of concrete, and each one is about three quarters of a mile long and they were blasted and dug out of solid volcanic rock, which is what you just walked through coming between the elevator and here. It took 19 months to dig all these diversion tunnels around here, 
But once they were done, the next step was to actually get the water into the tunnels. To do that, they built something called a copper dam. That is nothing more than a temporary dam, ten and a half stories tall, made out of rock and rubble that they pulled out of the tunnels. As the, divert, as the uh, copper dam started to rise, well then the water in the uh, river started to rise behind it, and eventually the water flowed into the diversion tunnels, through the mountain, and back out into the river. But climate change is taking its toll on the nearly 80-year-old dam as the water level at Lake Mead has been in a steady decline and is already affecting electricity production at the dam. <laughs> Building a dam as tall as a 60-story building presented unprecedented challenges to the engineers. It stretched the abilities of these engineers to the limits and claimed the lives of 96 of the 21,000 men who worked on it. And the U.S. government does well to recognize and appreciate them. It takes about two hours to discover all the features at Hoover Dam. We did try, but could not explore the entire space. As our tour van was waiting and it was sunset, driving all the way back to the heart of Las Vegas, our onboard guide tells us more. For a while, there was a political tug of war over the dam's name. Construction started during the Republican administration of Herbert Hoover. Hoover's Secretary of the Interior declared the name to be Hoover Dam at a spike driving ceremony for the railroad. It was indeed a worthwhile tour for Nigerians who have over the years attended various technology shows in Las Vegas, including the Consumer Electronics Show, but have never visited this great man-made wonder, the Hoover Dam. Thank you.